Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina for those that don't know. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss any other videos. Um, so I've already posted a couple of videos about my pregnancy. I've already posted about the earliest symptoms and how I got pregnant. So if you guys want to check out those videos, make sure you check them out and you can click right here. <laughs> um, pardon me. I am so out of breath. This pregnancy thing and talking just makes it like I feel like I'm doing a sprint right now and trying to talk <laughs> so that's definitely a crazy symptom yeah so let's get into this video this video is just kind of a first trimester recap and first trimester pregnancy symptoms video so I'm just gonna go through week by week with you guys and let you know how I've been feeling and hopefully that will help anybody else out there that is on their way and if you are pregnant congratulations <laughs> welcome to the team team Prego. Woo! okay so basically i've been keeping a journal like not a journal but just kind of like a little notepad where i write down everything pregnancy related i've been writing down my weekly symptoms and just kind of like tips and tricks and also maybe like baby things that I know I want and need. I'll just keep everything baby related and pregnancy related in this little notepad. And no joke, pregnancy brain is a real thing. Like I am so forgetful. Usually I am the most on point person and I don't forget anything. I have like a crazy brain that usually can organize everything and remember everything <laughs> and be on track. And I find myself forgetting like the simplest things like I'll say I'm gonna do one thing, then I leave the room and I forget why I'm there, what I'm doing, where I'm going, and it happens all the time, like forgetting my phone, places, keys, places, leaving things, I don't know, I'm just all over the place and it's so not like me, and it's kind of embarrassing <laughs> because I'm not like this. And, yeah. But I guess that just comes with the pregnancy, your body's so consumed with, you know, taking care of growing and developing a baby that you're just your brain is just kind of in flux a little bit but let's get into these pregnancy symptoms and since i already did the earliest pregnancy symptoms week zero through four i'm just going to start at week five and work my way up through 12 because i am just at the end of my first trimester right now which is great i am pre-recording these videos though so probably a little more ahead so you guys are Traveling back in time. <laughs> okay, week five. Um, sorry if I'm looking down at my notes here, here and there, because I don't remember all of this. And okay, so week five, I felt really tired a few days, and then extremely bloated most of the time. Yes, yeah, I feel like the bloat never really goes away, just bloated 24 seven to the point where you think that you have a baby bump, but that's not a baby bump and it kind of hurts. It feels like taut and full of gas and you just want to go to the bathroom and release somehow, but you can't. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can a little bit and it alleviates the <laughs> gas pains, but if you can't, you can't. And then you're just stuck bloated all day. And so I just like, walk around feeling like fat and yucky and bloated and it's not a great feeling but it's definitely one of the biggest symptoms throughout the first trimester for sure and then i had a little bit of lower back pain the super vivid dreams began guys i've been having the craziest dreams like up in this whole time i've been having crazy dreams but they started at week five and I already am a vivid dreamer but these dreams are just like even more intense and even more vivid it's like I don't know it's like if my other dreams were vivid they were like 2d these are 3d like these are intense these are like one of those highly graphic highly intense themed insane video game type of things so so crazy but honestly i think it's kind of fun i like waking up and being like whoa what did i just dream so i don't i don't mind that symptom i think it's kind of fun by friday i was energized so i guess the majority of the week i was tired and then i felt more energized and then i was also slightly emotional here and there i don't feel like i've been overly emotional in general um during this first trimester just here and there like certain little things i'll just like cry for no reason 
like if I'm getting in a fight with Spencer, but it's not even like a fight, it's about we're fighting over what we're gonna eat, and I just start crying. He's like, why are you crying? I'm like, I don't know, okay, just leave me alone. And, <laughs> or I'll just get super stressed out if I don't wanna talk about something and I'll just get in a mood. So I was just kind of irritable, so that's really the thing. Not like overly emotional or anything. Let's jump into week six. Week six, um, I was definitely tired. I wanted naps. So I'm not a napper, but I would totally nap. I would just like midday be like, okay, it's news time. And I would just bloop, like on the couch. <laughs> just bloop away, maybe like for an hour or two sometimes. And then I would still go to bed at my normal bedtime. So you definitely do feel tired for sure. I wasn't very hungry during week six. I was just kind of like turned off of everything. I didn't know what I wanted to eat, but there, I didn't have any any hunger really. I was just kind of like, I had to force myself to eat my meals in a sense. Obviously I'm out of breath. It says here, out of breath, <laughs> which I still am when I talk, especially when I talk a lot. I'm just like, <laughs> so that's a big thing. And then during the middle of week six, my bloat went away for a little bit. So I was like, oh yeah, no more bloating. But then it came back. Bloated. The bloat just comes and goes, comes and goes. Maybe you can monitor where you eat if you're one of those people that likes to decipher what you're eating that makes it better or worse. I'm not like that. I either want to eat something or I don't. So I just live with the bloat basically. And then it says here, I, was, I started getting slightly nauseated during week six and being super tired when I woke up. So I would wake up even though I would sleep eight to nine hours. I just felt exhausted still in the morning. So yeah, just for the rest of it, just super tired, a bunch of food sounds gross, nothing that I really want, wasn't really craving anything, just a bunch of things that I didn't want. Just no, 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 no. No. Um, and I had a tiny bit of heartburn. Um, it's been like very faint, but it's kind of in there, like a little bit, just a mm -mm -mm. little discomfort, like what did I eat? But not too much, not too bad. I didn't take any Tums or anything, so I was fine. Week seven, I uh, was definitely feeling sick some of the days, but not to the point where I was vomiting, just a slight nausea that comes and goes throughout the day. And then my sense of smell really picked up and kicked up, so I, I'm still smelling things. Like, I've got like the nose like my dog. I'm just like, I was in the elevator the other day and the door closed as soon as I walked in there, it was like, McDonald's, somebody has McDonald's, I want those french fries. I swear, I can just smell everything, everything. Like even like the carpet, the stuff they put like on the carpet outside, like any mild type of sprays that have been used and it's obvious that it's not fresh because I asked Spencer and he can't smell anything, but I can just like sniff it out, I'm like a hound. Still out of breath, um, having slight cramps here and there. I haven't really had any major cramps by that point, but just a little bit here and there that don't last very long. And then obviously bloated, tired, and my dreams are still continuing. And then during week seven, ha 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 ha, that Thursday of that week, I had the worst day of my first trimester. Um, it was right after I went to my first doctor's appointment and <laughs> you guys probably saw the vlog on this. And I got, I just had the worst cramp on my right side, right here, the whole day. It was just horrible. It was unbearable. Like I wanted to like, like, you know, curl up. I thought something was wrong, but I had just gone to the doctor so it couldn't have. She told me the baby's fine, everything's healthy, everything's good. But I just felt so horrible. And then we went to get a burger and <laughs> that's what I threw up for the first time. The first time I threw up, luckily, um, Luckily we were parked in the parking lot. We were waiting for the burger spot to open because it was really early in the morning. Yes, we were getting burgers very early in the morning. And I just opened the door and I just started hurling. So that entire day I could not keep anything down and I had the biggest cramp. I just kept throwing up and honestly, I thought that that was gonna be the beginning of the rest of my first trimester. But luckily that only lasted one day and that's the only one day I had of like actual vomiting actual vomiting and like major cramps. It was horrible. I just like curled up in my bed and laid there all day. It was so bad. But yes, those days do exist and I feel so bad for those girls that have to live with that um, through the majority of the pregnancy or during the whole first trimester because it is not pleasant. 
not at all. And again, naps, taking naps. Naps are just like a, on the to-do list. You might as well pencil it into your calendar. You have time for a part of me. And then let's move on to week eight. I had on and off tiredness during week eight. It was like, I'm tired one day, the next day I'm energized, then I'm tired, then I'm energized, then I'm tired, then I'm energized. Um, so it was kind of odd. I didn't know what was going on. And I didn't know how I was gonna wake up feeling. Yeah, so yeah, like it says, I would feel fine one day and then exhausted, heavy and irritated another. So on and off, crazy, bipolar type of feelings <laughs> during week eight. Um, and then also I started breaking out really bad. Um, I haven't really had any acne for a long time. I had cured it. I used to have acne problems when I was younger and up until maybe like five, six years ago, but I had cured it. And so my face has been clean, but I've been breaking out so bad now. And it's just been hard to cover it up and, you know, just have that. Um, so yeah, that's definitely been a big symptom, like still up until now. And then I wrote here, intense prego brain. Yes, I've had a very intense prego brain, like I've stated. So that started at around week eight. Also, I was living off of lemon water on week eight. It's the only thing that sounded good to drink, lemon water. Very refreshing and very yummy and actually very healthy for you too. So that's week eight. Let's move on to week nine. Week nine. The kind of blah the first day, so kind of mad. I have days where I'm just kind of like completely out of it. I feel like a walking zombie. I don't want to do anything, completely unmotivated, and I'm just not feeling very well. And it's not that I'm like feeling horrible like that one day I had, it's just kind of like a very meh, meh, meh. feeling. And it's like you don't know what's coming over. It's like this onyx. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. He's barking at the door. Onyx. No. But yeah, like I said, it's just like this wave. It's almost like a depression, but it's not a depression. I'm not depressed. I know I'm just feeling like heavy and very blah and monotone and like seriously lack of any type of reaction, emotion, anything. So I've definitely had days like that. And then yeah, week nine, the only things I really wanted were gummy bears, <laughs> like Sour Patch Kids, things like that, fruit, and carbs. Yeah, love carbs. Carbs have been, like, you know, a major help. And then fruit, because I've, I've only been wanting things that are really acidic and super fruity. So fruit, just been like having tons and tons of fruit. But that's good because it's really healthy. I'm glad I'm not craving like chocolate cake all the time. During week nine, I had my morning sickness was a little Worse, like not to the point where I was puking, but I felt like I wanted to puke, but it wasn't enough to actually go and hurl in the bathroom. So it's like very unpleasant. It would also come and go and be more prevalent towards the evenings too, like after dinner and um, kind of before bed until I would like actually lay down and get cozy. <laughs> I would feel like, eh, like really uneasy and kind of sick. And then I also started getting vertigo in week nine. That's where I was just feeling really lightheaded and if I stand up too fast, I just get dizzy and everything would go black. I'd have to hold on to something so I don't faint and fall over. And then also my skin got really dry and really flaky and it was just been like impossible to put like any makeup on because nothing would really take. It would just all look super cakey and horrible and I've been like scouring through different products to find things that will work <laughs> and you know, work with my irritated sensitive dry skin that I'm having right now. Um, but I did find a couple things. I will make a video about the products that I'm using for my pregnancy and what I have found. So I will share that with you guys for sure. Week 10, 11, and 12, just kinda, just kinda been feeling again like blah, unmotivated, but not to the point where I feel like super sick or anything, nausea here and there a little bit and then sick at night a little bit. Usually I'm yeah, feeling it at night before bedtime. And then uh, food aversions, like nothing sounds good, especially like proteins, like chicken, beef, fish, like everything sounds gross. The only things I want are like gnocchi, <laughs> gnocchi. The only thing I want is like pasta and fruit and bread and cheese and, but I do need my protein sources so I've been trying very hard to eat but I have to force myself I mean like chicken breast I try to like make it really yummy but still I'm like like trying to swallow it it's just the grossest thing to me and still been breaking out 
skin still not that amazing but <laughs> that's it guys yeah those are all of my pregnancy symptoms that i've had in my first trimester kind of all the classic ones maybe a few that are a little bit different but i have been being active i have been working out i have um, kind of maintained my life more or less the same but obviously listening to my body and I've adjusted you know my workouts or my sleep or my rest obviously taking naps <laughs> and just really listen to what I need I've been trying to be very in tune so that I can have a healthy pregnancy I mean you just got to do what you got to do you know this is my first pregnancy so I didn't know what to expect and everybody's different I'm very fortunate that I haven't had any major major vomiting or sickness other than that one day and I'm already one third of the way along with this pregnancy which is insane time is flying by and we have two more to go and I don't really have a bump right now but I can show you guys it's just like maybe bloat or I don't know maybe a tiny bump is forming but yes this is it I guess this might be a little tiny bump starting to form but that's it no like bump yet or anything so i'm really excited to see what's gonna come i will be filming more updates for you guys as pregnancy progresses so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye